Picture this. You're hit with an unexpected medical bill that's a little too high for comfort. Or maybe you're eyeing that dream vacation, but your bank account says, not today, buddy. Sounds familiar, right? These scenarios underline the crucial need for financial literacy. It's not about having loads of cash. No, it's about understanding money, how it works, how it grows, and how to use it to your advantage. It's the key to achieving your financial goals and securing your fiscal future. And guess what? It's not as daunting as it sounds. In fact, it can be broken down into four simple rules. We're talking budget mastery, understanding debt, saving and investing for the future, and protecting yourself financially. Each rule is a piece of the financial literacy puzzle, and together they paint a clear picture of financial freedom. So buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the four rules of being financially literate. Rule number one, master your budget. Because let's face it, you can't control your money if you don't know where it's going. You wouldn't set off on a road trip without a map, would you? Think of your budget as your financial GPS, guiding you towards your money goals, whether that's a new car, a dream vacation, or simply peace of mind. Now budgeting isn't about depriving yourself of that morning latte or never eating out. It's about understanding where your money is going and making conscious decisions that align with your priorities. It's about gaining control, not losing it. There are several budgeting methods you can try out. Take the 50-30-20 rule, for example. This method suggests you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings or debt repayment. It's a simple, easy-to-follow guideline that can help you balance spending and saving. Then there's zero-based budgeting, a method that gives every dollar a job. At the beginning of each month, you subtract all your expenses from income until you get to zero. This approach requires a bit more effort, but it can give you a crystal clear picture of where every penny is going. And let's not forget about budgeting tools and apps. These digital helpers can track your spending, categorize your expenses, and even alert you when you're nearing your budget limit. Just remember, the best tool is the one you'll actually use, so pick one that fits your lifestyle. Finally, some practical tips for sticking to a budget. First, start small and be realistic. Don't expect to slash your spending in half overnight. It's better to make gradual changes that you can sustain in the long run. Second, review your budget regularly and make adjustments as needed. Life happens. Your budget should be flexible enough to accommodate changes in your income, expenses, or goals. Remember, a budget is not a restriction, but a liberation from financial stress. Mastering your budget is the first step towards financial literacy and the key to unlocking your financial freedom. And if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial literacy tips. Moving on to rule number two, understand debt, because debt is like fire. It can cook your food or burn your house down. Now let's talk about the two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Imagine debt as a spectrum where on one end we have good debt, which is like a friendly neighborhood superhero, and on the other end we have bad debt, the notorious villain. Good debt is the kind that can potentially increase your net worth or has some value. It's like taking a loan to buy a house. Your house is an asset that can increase in value over time. Similarly, student loans can be considered good debt because they're an investment in your future earning potential. On the other hand, Bad debt is the kind that doesn't improve your financial outcome and might even cause you to lose money. Credit card debt is a classic example. It's easy to accumulate and before you know it, you're paying high interest on items that probably aren't increasing in value. But remember, even good debt can turn bad if you bite off more than you can chew. So how do we manage it effectively? One strategy is the debt snowball method. It's simple. You pay off your debts in order of smallest to largest. As you pay off each debt, you'll feel a sense of achievement and that momentum will keep you going. Now, let's talk about those sneaky predatory loans and high interest debt. They're like the sly fox in the world of finance. They might seem alluring at first, but they can get you into a world of trouble. Always read the fine print and understand the terms before you sign anything. And if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. 
Lastly, remember to always maintain a healthy credit score. It's like your financial report card. And trust me, you want straight A's on this one. A good credit score can get you lower interest rates, which means less money out of your pocket in the long run. So, be smart about your debt. It can be a tool, but only if you know how to use it. Now, on to rule number three. Save and invest for the future, because your future self will thank you. Let's be honest, we all love a good surprise, but not the kind that comes in the form of an unexpected bill or expense. That's where saving for emergencies comes into play. It's like an umbrella for those financial rainy days. But saving isn't just about weathering storms, it's also about long-term goals. Think about retirement, for example. Who doesn't want to spend their golden years sipping iced tea on a beach instead of worrying about bills? That's where compound interest comes in. It's basically magic, but for your money. Over time, the money you save generates earnings which in turn generate their own earnings. It's like a snowball of money rolling downhill, growing bigger and bigger. Also, don't be shy about exploring different savings and investment strategies. There's a whole world of options out there that can make your money work harder for you. Remember, every penny saved today is a dollar you don't have to earn tomorrow. And finally, rule number four, protect yourself financially. Because life happens, and sometimes it's not pretty. It's like having an umbrella on a sunny day. You might not need it, but when the storm hits, you'll be glad you have it. That's where your emergency fund and insurance come into play. Emergency funds are your financial safety net there to catch you when unexpected expenses crop up. These can be anything from car repairs to medical emergencies and having a cushion can make all the difference. Then there's insurance. It's not just about health insurance, though that's certainly important. There's also life insurance, car insurance, home insurance, and even pet insurance. Each one serves as a shield, protecting you from financial damage when life decides to get creative. Insurance policies can be complex, but don't let that deter you. Learn about them, understand them, and choose what suits your individual needs. So, get insured because you never know when life will throw a curveball your way. So there you have it, the four rules of being financially literate. Let's quickly jog our memory. Rule one, be the master of your budget, not the other way around. Rule two, understand your debts, don't let them keep you up at night. Rule three, save and invest for the future because the future you will thank you for it. And rule four, protect yourself financially because life has a way of throwing curveballs. It's time to take action, folks. Don't just be a spectator, be a player in the game of finances. There are countless resources out there to help you further your financial education, from websites to books and even podcasts. Now go forth and conquer your finances. Got a financial challenge you're grappling with? Drop it in the comments and let's tackle it together. If you gained anything from this video, we urge you to hit the like button. It not just encourages us to put out more content like this, but it will also help more see this. If you want to see more videos like this and continue your financial education journey with us, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, go forth and conquer your finances.